lightroomtutorials.com. Easy to follow, easy to learn, designed to inspire. Hello and welcome. My name is Matthew Sean. In this video, we're going to talk about how to import photos into Lightroom. Now that we're in Lightroom, the idea is to import the photos. On the left hand side of our screen, if you click the File tab, the drop down comes up where you can select Import Photos and Video. If you click that, you automatically get an option where Lightroom says, hey, where is the source? Where are those photos located? So on the left hand side, you want to select where those photos are. For me specifically, I'm going to click the Lightroom content folder that I've preset up. These are the files or the photos that are inside that folder. That's the first way to import your photos. The next way you can import your photos if you want is to click the import button on the bottom left hand side of your screen. If you click the import button, it brings up the same screen where Lightroom says, hey, where are those photos located? You have to select the source and select the photos you want. The third way to import photos is a little bit different and you have to be in the library module for it to work. What you can do is you can actually select the photos you want in a pre-existing file, let's say, and drag and drop them into Lightroom in this module here. And automatically Lightroom will select the photos you want and it's ready to work with them. Now, let's just say I didn't want to import this specific photo. I can uncheck it and Lightroom will sort of make it gray and not allow us to import that. But I do want to import that specific photo right now. Lightroom also gives us the name of the photos and it tells us add. Now, the reason why it says add versus copies of DNG is because these photos are already on my hard drive, meaning I have a copy of them already. If I was taking photos from, let's say, an SD card straight from my camera, Lightroom would automatically choose copies of DNG so that we have a copy of the image on the SD card. But because I already have a copy on my hard drive, I'm already good to go, and Lightroom says, hey, you just need to add them versus taking up more space on your hard drive. The next step is to click import, and then Lightroom puts all of the photos that I selected into the catalog. The next step is to put all of our photos into collections and create different collections to organize our photos. That's our video for today. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and you learned some new things. My name is Matthew Shonnell from freelightroomtutorials.com. Hopefully you stay around for the next video and enjoy it as well.